Hi Cancer, welcome to your Love Connection reading for June. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. Can you believe we're in Cancer? Uh, in Cancer. Well, wait, yeah, we're doing Cancer. We're in June already. <laughs> So I hope everybody's doing uh, well, staying safe and healthy at this time. So we're going to look at a love connection you believe you have with somebody. You don't necessarily have to be with them at this time, but you do actually have to know each other. If you are single, I do have a singles reading on my channel for those looking for new love, wondering about new love. So feel free to watch that. Also, it may resonate. You can find your links below in the description box for your love and general readings. I consider all my past readings timeless, even though they're dated. So if you see something, um, I'd say watch it anyway. So, Cancer, let's see what we have for you. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, male or female, general collective reading. It's not a private reading. Please only take it how it resonates for you. Every part may not resonate. Only take the parts that resonate. If it does not resonate at all, it is not your reading this time. Hold out for future readings. Or, like I said, go back and watch past readings. Something there may resonate. Um, and it can be past, present, or future energies I could pick up on. You can interchange and switch the energies also anytime you feel. That's how tarot works. So let's see what we have for Cancer. So this is a Zodiac Oracle. We could get a sign, element, or planet, and we'll see how that plays into your reading. If you don't resonate with this part, totally fine. And then I'll pull an opening love message on your connection. And then I'll pull one for you, one for them, one for the mutual energy, how you're feeling about the connection and each other, and then the mutual energy. Clarify that all that energy with the tarot, and then we'll look at the actual situation, advice, possible outcome, bottom of the deck, and then we'll get some closing energies with the... Uh, angel answers. So if you do have any questions in mind, you could um, ask Spirit and we'll see if we get you some uh, answers or advice or guidance at the end with the answer angel answers deck. So Cancer, let's see what we have for Cancer. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, male or female, general collective, or whoever they're thinking about at this time. What do we have for Cancer? Sign, element, or planet. Spirit, please. Thank you so much. For cancer at this time. Feeling this one right here. Let's see what we have. And we have Venus. So this is the planet of love. And this is Libra and Taurus. So you could be dealing with the Libra or Taurus. If not, totally fine. Uh, but this is the planet of love. So we are talking about love, beauty, everything that has to do with you know that positive energy. And we have 16, which is 7. So that is a divinely guided spiritual energy. So we're definitely talking about somebody being in love or a love situation. So we'll see how that plays out. If you're wondering if the other person has feelings for you with Venus coming out, I would say yes. They could either see you as someone that's very beautiful or handsome, or they do have developing feelings for you. Could be turning into love or like or whatever have you here. But Venus, the planet of Venus is playing a role in this situation for sure. All right, so let's get an opening message for you. Opening love connection energy for you and your connection, whoever you're thinking about at this time. Cancer also, everything you need to know is down below in the description box. Um, your playlists, decks I'm using, social media, how to reach out for private reading. All that info is below. And if you're new and like to subscribe, hit the bell. You won't miss out. You get about four or five readings a month, and they're all different. So you can check it out, and if you do, thank you, and welcome to the family. Okay, let's see, let's get an opening love message on your connection, Cancer, see what we get here. For Cancer Spirit, please. Wow, that came out flying. So we have Mythic Reality. So I can't see the uh, screen from here because I have uh, a lens on my camera for, you know, <laughs> the view here. So if there's a glare, I'm sorry. But mythic reality, so this is about gaining a new perspective, uh, seeing it from a higher level, you know, a broader scope, looking at the big picture, you know, instead of being closed off to what you think is the reality. Um, you know, mythic I kind of take as the universal energies too, to see the broader scope of things, to see all the colors of the rainbow, all the colors of the situation. So there's a need here to really look at the whole situation is there love here? Is there not love here? What's at the end of that rainbow? Is there a pot of love or not? <laughs> or just, you know, an empty pot? I don't know. We'll find out. What is at the end of that rainbow, Cancer? Let's find out. What is the reality of the situation? Is there a love in this situation or not? Let's see. 
Let's see. Let's get one for you, one for them, and then I'll take one from the bottom for the mutual energy between the two of you. So what is the... Wow. Okay. So we got one here. This is really too many. Oh, I just put them upside down. So one for you, one for them. Let's get one for them. Whoever Cancer is thinking about at this time, how are they thinking and feeling towards Cancer? And this connection spirit, please. Thank you so much. The Cancer Collective. Right, feeling this one. I'll take one from the bottom. The mutual energy. All right. Let's see what we have, Cancer. For you, we have Guardian Angel. So you may feel like this person is an angel. You feel like you need to protect them, nurture them, or they feel this way about you. Or, you know, this is an energy of this feeling like this connection is divinely protected by angels, knowing your angels, trusting your angels in this connection, that this is being protected. There's protection here some way, shape, or form. So they're either wanting to protect you, you're wanting to protect them, and this connection is being protected. You may feel that energy. So let's see how your person is feeling. So we have gratitude. So very thankful and blessed for uh, meeting you, knowing you, having you in their lives. This kind of reminds me of like the Empress card. Emperor, Empress, you know, knowing value, worth, uh, growth, abundance, being thankful, grateful, humble. Wow. Mutual energy here is liberation. So this may be a very freeing uh, connection between the two of you. Like free to be who you want to be. Um, you know, that liberation is either freeing yourself from a situation or feeling free enough to be who you are, not being trapped by any what anybody thinks, says, feels. You know, this is just being in your own energy and being liberated to live in your own energy and not let outer interferences, other points of views, other people weigh you down on what they think, what their views are. This Because you see the star here on her third eye for total illumination. And the star is about faith, hope, optimism, wishes, dreams coming true, healing energy, divinely guided energy. And the third eye is about tr totally trusting in your gut, your intuition, your higher knowing and source. So I, I'm getting that connection between the two of you. I feel like you're wanting to really protect this connection in some way, shape, or form. And they're very thankful for you. So all the energies can be vice versa, however they are for you. So maybe for some reason it's been difficult, a difficult situ uh, situation between the two of you, either outer interferences or people not agreeing or cultural differences or whatever here. Because I see this woman in a robe, so I mean, I'm getting like, you know, a different culture. So it could be, you know, just maybe, you know, different points of views, different cultures, different, you know, whatever here. But I see it as very liberating between the two of you, like gaining new, uh, learning, growing, expanding, learning um, new things, expanding your mind, you know, between each other. Wow. All right. Are we getting liberation in this connection at the end of the rainbow? Let's see what's going on for you, Cancer. What's going on for you, Cancer? Cancer. Let's clarify this energy for Cancer. Someone rising Venus, male or female. The Jala Collective for Cancer and whoever they are thinking about at this time. For this reading spirit, please. Thank you so much. What do we need to know? Show us what we need to see. Let's get a couple for you, a couple for them, one for the mutual. Please, spirit, a couple for cancer. One, two, and two for your person. What do we have here? Two for your person. One. Wow, this is star energy. And the high priestess. Wow. So... Somebody made a comment that readers like to say, wow, well, you know, that's how we read. If you don't like the way we read, then why are you watching readings? Anyway, so Cancer, you have the Queen of Earth, which is the Queen of Pentacles and the Nine of Air. 
Now the Queen of Pentacles can be uh, Capricorn, doesn't have to be. So if I say um, the signs I mentioned, they show up, they're signed, fine. If not, fine. Take the reading how it resonates for you. It's just um, energy. So the Queen of Earth, Queen of Pentacles, reminds me of the Emperor Empress energy as with this over here with gratitude. This is like the minor of the Empress or the Emperor. Um, knowing value, worth, stable and grounded, secure, um, wise, practical uh, kind of energy, growth, abundant. But we do have stress, fear, worry, and anxiety here. So for some reason, you're feeling stressed, even though you may be stable and grounded in your own right, or you see them in that energy in this connection, you still have some stress or fear or anxieties about the connection. It could be about what other people think, um, other energies around you. I'm getting kind of that energy because I'm just feeling with that liberation, you're finally just liberating yourself or you both are of what other people think, feel, viewpoints, cultural differences, differences in general. Just like releasing that, liberating yourself from that and just trusting in source, the connection kind of energies. But yeah, you still have a little bit of fear here and stress. Maybe about what other people think. And I'm getting the um, doves around here. And like the circular energy is kind of like that circular closure energy. Kind of reminds me of the world energy. Things coming full circle. Because nine is almost at the end of a completion. Or a cycle. Or something of that effect. So you're just wanting, I feel like you're just wanting to come in like closure with this person. Like full union but there's other factors involved. I don't know why I'm getting that message. That's what I'm getting. But we do have on their side gratitude. We have the star, which is Aquarius. We have the high priestess, which is Pisces. So, you know, the star is about faith, hope, optimism, wishes, dreams coming true, healing, divinely guided energy, the high priestess. Again, listening to intuition, higher knowing kind of energy. And I felt that with the star here on the forehead for the third eye. And this is the star and this is the Intuition, I can't make this up. Wow. So, your person here, two majors. Two majors on their side. So, they're listening to their gut, their intuition, and they see this as a divinely guided connection. You know, wanting to heal it in some way, shape, or form, if that makes sense. Or heal, you know, what's happened between you because of outer circumstances. They know it's divinely guided energy, faith, hope, optimism. They have that energy. They're grateful they're, for this connection. They know it's divinely guided energy. And they're listening to their gut and their intuition. Wow. All right, so let's get one. I can't make that. I can't believe that that just came out. And that's exactly how I describe this liberation. I feel like you need to liberate yourself from the stress, fear, worry, and anxiety. Know that this is divinely, again, divinely guided protection with the guardian angel there. You need to know that. And just uh, be in that stable energy of the queen of pentacles or, you know, the empress-like emperor or empress-like energy. So let's see about the mutual energy here. The king of water. So there's definitely a lot of love here. This is Pisces, but doesn't have to be. King or queen. It's all about love, emotions, feelings. And sometimes, you know, the king energy... Um, doesn't always express their love, you know, fluidly. But there's definitely love and emotions and feelings here. They may show them rather than, um, like this person may show you acts of kindness and gratitude rather than really truly expressing how they truly feel about you, love you and that kind of energy. But just know there definitely is love, emotions and feelings here between the two of you. That is the mutual energy. Maybe sometimes you don't say it completely to one another or them to you, you to them. But the energy is here. I think you just need to trust in divine energy here. Wow. So whatever that makes sense, if there's any outer influences here, it's just liberating yourself from all that other energy interfering with this connection. Trusting in source, intuition, higher knowing. All right. Knowing it's divinely guided with the star. Wow. Okay. So let's see if we get some clarity here on your situation. See if what we get here. So we have the Eight of Earth. This is working on this. It's on your side. So you definitely want to keep working on this connection. 
nine of water yeah wishes and dreams coming true so now they have the star on their side you got the star like the minor star on your side so the nine of water is about what you know wishes and dreams coming true happiness and joy so you definitely want to keep working on this messenger of earth this is the page of earth on their side let's see what else here the six of earth balance wow so, so you definitely want to keep working on this. You see them as a wish dream come true, happiness and joy. You hold them in that high regard energy and they definitely are very stable in the way they communicate and the way they, um, it's a page of our, so I mean they could be offering, they want to offer or maybe they had offered commitment, marriage, leveling up. You know, the page of pentacles here can be, um, I believe that's the page. Or is that the knight? These are a little bit different. Um, two, 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 just let me check here. My stomach's rolling. I hope you can't hear that. <laughs> so we got the messenger. I think, actually, I think that is the um, knight. I think the messenger is the knight. Okay. The knight. That's the knight of earth, which can be um, Taurus, but doesn't have to be. So they want to move this forward. You know, the knight of pentacles is very um, practical, wise, smart. It's slow moving, but he's grounded, he's secure, he's stable, he's long lasting. He comes in working on this for the long term. He's practical and wise, so, and balanced. So this person is very balanced, and they just want a very balanced relationship. You know, maybe taking it slowly, moving forward. But they definitely want to keep moving forward here. And I feel like you do too because you have the energy of wanting to work on it. And this is, you know, wishes, dreams, happiness, joy. So what else here? What is the other energy affecting this in the middle here? Some mutual energy. So we do have, now we've got a matching couple. Wow, we've got the queen of water. And the king of water, divinely guided spiritual energy, soulmate energy, to inflame energy, matching couple. This is a divine counterpart here. So this cancer, this is your energy. And we have the six of water. So this can be um, past life soulmate energy here. Or someone you've known for a very long time. Or maybe someone returning from the past. Or someone that returned to you from the past. Past lives together. Uh, someone you've known from you know, childhood, work, school, your first job. This can also speak of, you know, friends and family from the past. So for some of you, there is a lot of love and emotions here. And this is a soulmate to inflame past lives, someone you've known for a long time, or someone who had returned from the past, was a connection from the past, and you never lost that connection in your heart. This could be somebody coming back, maybe you reconnected with. But that can speak of family and friends that have always been in your life, and that could be the interference here that I felt also. I keep getting interference. I don't know why, and I didn't really have that energy come out. So if that makes sense for some of you, if there's in outer interferences interfering, it's time to just liberate that energy and just rise above it and just keep moving forward in this connection. Or if there's cultural differences or whatever here, it's time just to liberate and release and just keep moving forward because this is a very balanced soulmate energy. we got balance here with the six here, the six here. A lot of nines about coming full circle with this person. So let's see. Um, that mythic reality, it's like the mythic tends to be like fantasy to me sometimes. So you could be listening to others uh viewpoints on the reality of what they think the situation is and it's just like a f illusion fantasy what they think in their head and it's not really the actual situation connection between the two of you because a rainbow there can talk about luck expansion it's like this block here almost looks like a mountain between the two of you like a mountain to overcome to get to the other side of the rainbow overcoming everyone else's reality of the situation and knowing your true reality of the situation. So let's see what your advice and outcome is. So we have the two of ear. So being a little indecisive here about what to do. 
three of earth. So this is working on it, teamwork, collaboration. Keep working on this. Keep working on this. But this is nine of earth. So that's an independent energy, but it's stable, secure, and grounded. Um, sufficient, self-sufficient, independent kind of energy. Four of ear. So this is about resting, rejuvenating, healing kind of energy. Let's see if we get one more. So, you know, again, if this tough decision here, not sure what to do, wanting to work on it, do I stay single or not? Because the Nine of Earth, Nine of Pentacles is very independent single energy. So there's a need here to really think, contemplate, heal, rejuvenate. What do you truly want? Do you want to be single or do you want to work on it? So while you're in this decision mode, take that time alone, think and contemplate. Yeah, Five of Earth. So Five of Pentacles is about being left out in the cold, abandonment. Again, that could be just taking time alone, you know, telling your person, I need time alone. Um, sometimes I can be ghosting. I wouldn't recommend ghosting, but um, we may need time apart or time on our own to really think about, do we want to work on this or be single? So it's ultimately a big decision here, I feel. All right, so let's see. A lot of Earth energy coming through. Let's see what the possible outcome could be. Outcome could be. Oh, we have the sun. Best card in the deck. Leo energy here. Happy home and family. Success, victory, enlightenment. Enlightenment to the true reality of your situation. What makes this rainbow is the sun. So here we have the sun. Which, you know, total enlightenment. Total wish, wishes and dreams coming true. Happiness, joy, success, victory, healing energy. Happy home and family. What else? So it's a good energy. So we do have the sun here. Page of air and temptation. So we do have the devil here. And the page of air can be open, honest communication. It can be a, a energy of spying, doing online research. But we do have the devil here, which can be those outer energies, you know, putting their two cents in <laughs> with the page of air. But the sun... I believe, I think the sun can overcome any kind of energy here. Page of fire. So this is good news. So we have Capricorn here, Leo. So the page of fire is about good news. This is about uh, something exciting, offer or something here. So this is good news. It's exciting, exhilarating. I feel like there's going to be a conversation here on overcoming negative energies. So I feel like a lot of excite a lot of exciting firing fire passionate conversation here. Two pages. So a lot of conversation here about overcoming any toxic energies around you and moving forward into the sun over the rainbow. <laughs> All right, so let's get five cards from the bottom. And then we'll go over the three, four, five. So, we have the two of earth, again, uh, weighing the pros and cons, making a decision in this, again. But we do have justice, so we have Libra energy here. Truth, clarity, getting justice, service, justice, scales balancing out. So I feel like getting justice in this connection, the ace of air. So there's your in the justice, so this is truth, clarity, brand new beginning. Successful, victorious new beginning, based on open, honest communication, and I have this communicate um, two pages here, communication, cutting away things no longer serving, telling it like it is, standing up, not backing down, total enlightenment, clarity, epiphany, aha moments. And now we have the Empress coming out, which I felt that energy here with this gratitude card. Emperor, Empress. Emperor, Empress, knowing value, worth, you know, expansion, growth here. Birth of something new kind of energy. But the Empress energy here can be uh, Libra or Taurus, which is the Venus energy. So there's the Venus energy coming out again. We do have the Aries, uh, Aries energy here with the Tower. I feel like, you know, finally taking control in our Empress and Emperor power here, gaining clarity from the Divine Source and blowing up any toxic energy around us so that we can move forward successfully, and get the justice that we deserve in this connection, and uh, making practical, wise decisions moving forward. So that's what I see. See with that. 
Cancer. All right, so let's get some closing. Let's get some closing energies for you, Cancer. Closing energies for you, Cancer. I really feel like with the tower there, again, can be epiphany, realization, surprise, a shock. I mean, it can be a breakdown, break up, something like that. Um, big shift or change. Also, being just blowing something up. I feel like we're blowing up all the toxic energy around us so that we can have the justice and the new beginning we deserve in this connection. All right. So, let's get some... Messages for you, Cancer, from the Angel Answers for Cancer and this connection. Spirit, please, thank you so much. Yes, exactly, yes. So yes to this connection, yes to break free of any toxic energies around you. People, places, things not serving this connection. And there's no need to worry in this connection. No, so let's see... I feel like, no, no, there's no need to worry. <laughs> so let's see. No, right on temptation. So no to toxic energies. Ask your angels. Again, listen to your gut, your intuition, your higher knowing, praying, meditating with divine source. Just trust. And we had guardian angel up here. So just know this is a heavily guarded, um, protected connection. I was going to take one from the bottom, but let's see recovery so again you know we have the four of swords energy there uh something about a year from now so whatever that means that could have been something within this current year uh a year from something that had started before you know a year from that time so it doesn't exactly mean a year from now something within the timeline of a year recovery again healing rejuvenating thinking contemplating and uh coming back into recovery mode and recovering if you are apart from this person because of outer influences, differences, whatever, recovering the uh, connection here. So that's what I see, Cancer. Okay, Cancer, best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And always, always shine your light.